Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Honkai Star Rail video. And today we're going to do some more trading card stuff. Um, now this will be a little bit different. This isn't going to be a box opening. Um, this is going to be an instance of where I ordered individual cards from a seller. Um, so the actual opening shouldn't be that long, but there could be a surprise in here. So I want to capture it on camera if I'm really shocked, uh, like what happened previously. So what I want to do to begin, because this will be fairly short, it's a pretty small package. Um, I want to kind of explain the story of what led up to this for those of you that are unfamiliar. So for those of you that are kind of new to my videos, I've been doing a lot of Honkai Star Rail box opening. So I've been opening these boxes of trading cards from China. I've been really enjoying them for the most part, right? Um, but I've really gotten into these very premium ones. And there are some cards that I feel like are just a cut above everything else. They're super high end, super amazing, like my favorite cards ever. Okay. And so I'm going to move this package for a moment. We'll come back to that. But this all started with this card here. And what I might do is I might link the opening to this video. I'm going to link a couple of videos at the end that are related to what you're seeing here. Okay. So this March, what it was, was I opened one of these $30 boxes. It was the first time I ever opened one. So I got a little spoiled because I thought the boxes were way better than they were. So if you watch the video where I opened this March, I'm like, oh my God, these are the best boxes. But no, the boxes are actually trash. Um, I just got really lucky and got a good promo. So what these $30 boxes have is they've got packs with really crappy cards in them for the most part. Um, you pull a lot of NPCs, food items, just weird things that aren't characters. And you got one promo per box. And the promos have varied. I've gotten trash and I've gotten God cards like this. And this card is absolutely ridiculous. And this kind of started my itch for these really premium kind of promo box topper cards. So what this is, and I pulled this myself. So one, it's my favorite character, March. But that ticket in the middle is actually metal. So this is a card that has metal infused in it. And the other thing that's cool about it was this was the first time I realized they put serial numbered cards in here. So you can see number 52 out of 168. Now, if anybody knows why the print runs are like that in China, maybe the number has meaning. But like 168 and 178 have been the print runs on all of the serial numbered cards I've seen. I don't know why it's like that, right? But I got this March card and... Like this, for a while, was my favorite Star Rail card ever, okay? Um, oh, phone did something. What's going on with my phone? Hold up. Oh, hold on, phone. There we go. All right. Sorry, just went black for a moment, but we are good. Okay, now we just need you to refocus here. All right, there we go. So yeah, for a while, this was my favorite card, okay? So what happened was, was I hunted these. I really wanted these. So I opened, I bought a total of five of these $30 boxes. So I bought four more after this. And they were all absolute doggy doo-doo garbage. Like, I hated them. Um, I got some okay promos in them. But for me, they weren't worth the $30 I was spending uh, because the rest of the cards in the box were pretty much garbage. I would get maybe one card per entire box that I kind of liked. It was really a waste of money. So really, and this is why people pay a lot for singles for anything, whether it be Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, whatever. The reason why people pay a lot is they don't want to buy... Uh, boxes and boxes of cards to have all this extra bulk chasing these rare, rare cards. So I actually messaged a seller that I bought this box from and asked if he was selling any of these as singles. And sure enough, he had four of them as singles and I bought them from him. So then I did another video revealing those cards. And so I bought these for $40 a piece, which maybe seems a lot. So I got Don Hung here, which maybe seems to be like a lot of money, but considering you have to pay $30 to have a chance to get one, and then you're not even guaranteed the character you want, $40 straight up for the card to avoid all of the BS of buying boxes, getting a bunch of bulk I don't want, right? Stuff like that. Um, oh, I'm going to have to open this Asta. There's something like on it that I think will just come right off. So I'm going to have to open up that Asta later. There's like a little something on the card that I think I can just come off. Uh, we got Hook. Once again, these are all metal cards. They are all serial numbered to 168. Like, very cool. So it's like, these cards, there is only 168 of each one in existence, right? So very cool. So these are the five that I have. Now, this is where we kind of get a little bit of twist, right? So I had ordered these four cards from a seller. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'll add a little gift for you. And to me, it's like, oh, he's just going to throw in some random Star Rail card, something kind of crappy, right? Well, the seller played a really nice... Uh, he, he made a really nice play on his end, and I don't know if this was his intent. I think he just wanted to give me something nice because I did pay a lot for those cards. So he goes ahead and sends me a bonus card, right? Um, and I don't know if this was his intent, but he sent me a card 
that I actually liked more than these, which caused me to want to hunt more. So this was the free card he sent me. I thought it was quite generous. Uh, this is the back of the card. Okay, and this one's numbered to 188. So 168, 178, and 188 are the print runs I've seen. So very weird. So it says, Himiko, this is the back of the card. And by the way, the back of the card looks pretty cool. Um, and then that's actually metal token right there, right? But we flip it. And my goodness, this is the most beautiful Star Rail card I have ever seen. Um, I've got it in like a crazy, like, screw down case right now. So I'm not going to take it out. But this to me was like, this was it. Like, Wow. I like this card is insane, like craziness, right? So, <laughs> of course, what do I do? Uh, I message the seller again. I'm like, thank you so much for this free, amazing card. I absolutely love it. Do you have more to sell me? Sure enough, he had more to sell me. And that brings us to today is this package. In this package, I'm expecting two more cards in this style, um, but maybe the seller was nice and added another special gift. I don't know. He did not specifically say he was adding a gift this time. So I'm only expecting two cards here, but there could be more. And maybe he's going to tempt me with something else I like. So here we go. This is the dramatic reveal. Um, I did snip this already, but I have not looked at the contents. I do not know what's in here. Uh, hopefully he sent the right things. Yep. And I'm seeing the right things so far. You can kind of see the token through the thing right there, right? So we'll see, is it just two cards? Which that would be fine. By the way, if, in case you're wondering what I paid for these, he actually sold these cheaper than the other ones, which I think these cards are actually better. Uh, I got these for 35 a piece. So it was two cards for $70. Once again, 100 million percent worth it, rather than spending $30 to have a chance to keep chasing it. Definitely don't wanna do that. All right, so here we go. The big reveal, the unwrapping. Let's see what we got here. Yep, okay, it is just the two cards, which is fine. So I know what I'm getting, but you guys don't. So let's look at these beautiful cards. I'm actually gonna take them out of the sleeves so that we can see these like raw. So here's the first card. We've got an asset and look at that, the nice glow, it's so clean. This one's actually, oh wow, this is actually in really good condition. We've got number 123 out of 188. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and flip this bad boy. Oh my God, this card is so beautiful. Look at this card, you guys. Look at this, like a million percent worth $35. And like this, okay, it's so like this pin right here, this is all metal and it's like heavy and it, like the quality is so good, like the foiling, I gotta get really close so you guys can see that pin. It's, it's yeah, it's like an emblem and it's all metal and it's got super nice foiling throughout the card. I wanna try to get just some different angles here for you guys, cause I gotta, the card is just so dang pretty, right? Like I'll show it upside down here, but yeah, this card is gorgeous. So there's Herda and I pre-bought cases for them. So I got cases ready to go, but look at that card, just beautiful design. Here's the second card. We are going to pull this out of the sleeve. Okay, get that out. Okay, and once again, the back here, look at this, you guys. And this is a character. I'm excited for this one. Because this is a very underrepresented character. I haven't gotten many cards of this character. Uh, we've got Clara, you guys. Okay, so if you're a Clara fan, you're going to be drooling on this one. So that's the back of the card, 141 out of 188. Let's flip it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I've seen the cards before, but I'm still just like in person. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at this card. I mean, are you kidding me right now? Look at that card. Oh, if you're a Clara fan, I mean, this is it. Like, this is the best Clara card I've seen ever. Uh, so if a March of this exists, I've got to track it down and find it, man. Uh, these are so beautiful. So look at that. To me, a million percent worth $35. I'm going to, once again, I'm going to get some nice sleeves for these. Or I've got some nice cases. I'm going to case those up. So there we go. This is my premium collection of serial numbered cards. So I've got three of those. And then, you know, I, I can't fit them all on the screen, but I have five of these bad boys, these metal tickets. So this collection has cost me a pretty penny, but I guarantee like you throw these on eBay. I mean, I'm guessing I could get at least double what I paid for these. Like no question. These cards are ridiculously beautiful. Um, amazing, all serial numbered. Absolutely love it. Uh, keeping these in my personal collection. So let me know what you think of these and you guys can let me know, you know, what, what you like better. You know, do you like these first metal ones I got, which these are still ridiculously amazing. Or do you like these new designs better? Uh, maybe let me know which character you like the best. I don't know. Like, I think, uh, 
Dude, all of these are actually so good. Like, I want to say I like Kimiko the best, and I look at Clara, and I'm like, well, I kind of like Clara the best. And it's like, now, I like, the, the thing that's so awesome with these, and you guys have seen in my card videos, there has been so much reused art, it, like, drives me crazy. I guess the one thing you could say that's a slight negative on these is these corner pictures, I think, are just game screenshots. And then these tickets, they're just the standard like splash art for the characters. But if there's an art repeated, the splash art is what I want. Like that's fine. Um, but they are common artworks, right? Whereas these, like I haven't seen these arts anywhere. Like these are, these are like, look at the, like when, I don't know where, what this Himiko art is from. It actually might be from her light cone. That might be what that is from. And actually all these might be light cone arts. It might be what they are but they're presented on like really nice, beautiful character cards. So it's just, it's done in a new way. Ugh, the foiling is so good. Like these cards are crazy, crazy, crazy cards. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this. If you're new to my videos and you kind of want to see this journey, I'm going to post two videos. Um, so at the end of this video, I'm going to do the first video where I pulled March, which is insane. And then I'm going to post the video where I bought the cards that were like March, but then I got this one as a surprise. So let me know what you guys think of this. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.